Hello, hello everybody, Fiber Spider back again with a new game for you! And actually, this time it is relatively new, it just came out fairly recently, I believe. This is Potion Craft. I thought it might be nice to slow down a little bit, you know, get away from the frenzied fighting and killing of monsters and so forth. We are an alchemist, if I'm not mistaken, and we mix ingredients together and we make potions and it could be fun, you know, it seems pretty subdued, you know, which might be a nice change of pace for a bit. So, let's hop into a new game. The story begins. You're a novice alchemist, wandering the world in search of your destiny. After a long journey, you have finally found a place to ply your trade. Okay, I'm not going to skip the tutorial because I have a feeling I'm going to need it. Abandoned House you found an old abandoned house on the edge of town. Judging by the alchemy equipment and garden, the former owner seems to have practiced alchemy. Apparently, a wizard used to live here. But the layer of dust and the condition of the house suggest that it has been empty for a long time. Shop opening, okay. You decide to turn the house into a potion shop. After several days of cleaning and preparing, the shop is ready for its first customers. It's time to remember your alchemy skills and start this new life in a new town. Adding ingredients to the cauldron. Potions are made from ingredients. Take two terrarias and two water blooms from your inventory and throw them into the cauldron. To move ingredients, select it with the L stick Press and hold X, drag it to the cauldron, and let go. Pay attention to the alchemy map on the laboratory wall. It shows you the path the ingredients create once they are added to the cauldron. Okay. Whoa, whoa. The, the, the mouse sensitivity is... <laughs> it just jumps from one spot to the other. Okay. Alright, so I have to grab... Let's see, this is a terraria, so I need two terrarias and two water blooms. Okay. Okay, so I don't... I, it just goes there automatically. That's nice. Okay, drop. And drop. And as you can see, there's a little dotted line below that is... It's showing me where it's going to go. Let's see. Uh, it seems to have something to do with water. So... I did do a little bit of looking into the game. Apparently, the various... Uh, ingredients have elemental qualities earth, air, fire, and water and based on the qualities that determines the direction of the little dotted line so water goes to the east and terraria, I'm assuming that would be earth, you know, terrain terra uh, so earth would be south and water would be west, okay so let's drop this in okay after adding ingredients, you can stir the potion. Stirring the potion advances the potion icon down the path defined by the ingredients. Use the spoon to stir, and hold X to move the spoon back and forth until the potion icon on the map reaches the desired position. Stirring allows the potion icon to collect experience points. Accumulating experience lets you level up, but has no effect on the current potion. Okay. Okay, swishy swishy. So yeah, holding down X and just going back forth, back forth, back forth with the joystick. And I see there are little bubbles that I keep hitting. Okay, oh, heating. Now the potion icon is touching an unknown effect. To find out what the effect does, you need to add it to the current potion. To add the effect to the potion, you need to bring the water in the cauldron to a boil, use the bellows to blow on the coals and heat up the cauldron to the desired temperature. Take the bellows by the handle and continue blowing on the coals until there is an explosion over the cauldron. Okay, well can I keep going till it's lined up? Nope, that's as far as it'll go. Okay. 
So, let's give this a whirl. There we go. Healing. You unlocked a new effect. Finishing a potion. Perfect. You've added a new effect to the potion. Healing. To finish making the potion, finish, press finish potion. Okay. So, a weak potion of healing. Interesting. Okay. Grinding ingredients. A mortar and pestle are an alchemist's best friends. You can use the mortar and pestle to grind up practically any ingredients and unlock their potential. This helps you create the same potion using fewer ingredients. Try to create the same potion using just one terraria and one water bloom. Take terraria from your inventory, place it in the mortar and pestle uh, to grind it up with the pestle until it turns into mush. The more you grind an ingredient, the longer the path that ingredient will make on the alchemy map once it is added to the cauldron. Gotcha. Okay. So, yes, that is a terraria. But don't I also need a water bloom? Oh, I have to hold the button. My bad. There we go. <laughs> a little bit more. Okay. Add the ground terraria to the cauldron. You got it. Okay. Completely grind the water bloom using the mortar and pestle. And I don't know if I don't know if any of you have ever used a mortar and pestle before, but it's not the easiest thing in the world. Okay, so let's give this a whirl. This apparently doesn't need quite so much smushing, I don't think. One more. Oh, yeah, add the ground water bloom to the cauldron. You got it. Stir the potion using the spoon. So far, this is pretty straightforward, although I have a feeling it's going to get more complicated as we go along. You know, more ingredients, more effects. Ooh, I leveled up a talent point. That's nice. And... Okay, I can't go any further. Alright, now we'll do the, the bellows. There we go. Saving a potion recipe. Excellent. You've made the very same potion, but used half as many ingredients. Your first potion attempt won't always be the most optimal, so experiment and perfect it. If you're happy with the potion you've made, save it in the recipe book. Then you can make that potion in the future with the click of a button. Save the recipe for your current potion. Press save recipe to save it. Yes, I shall. Finishing a potion. Nicely done. You saved the recipe. Now finish making the potion. Okay. Moving between rooms. You are the owner of a potion shop, and your task is not only to brew potions, but also sell them to customers. A customer has arrived. Go to the shop. For moving between rooms, use the directional pad to go to the shop. Press, I think that's left. It's kind of hard to see the top one, but the bottom one's more pronounced. All right, let's go. Offering potions for sale. <clears throat> this is going to be a lot of talking. All right. Every day, people from all over town, and even from other towns, will stop in to buy various magic potions. Your job is to brew potions in the laboratory and sell them to customers. Many potions will be brewed for a specific purpose, but it's still a good idea to keep a few of the most popular potions on hand just in case. If a customer likes a potion, it will be clear from their reactions. Okay, so either disgruntled or frabjous. Okay. Offer a potion for sale. 
Take it from your inventory and place it on the right side of the scale. My husband has been ill for some time now, but recently he got even worse. Now he can't even get up. He has a fever and sweats. Do you have any medicine for my poor husband? To offer a potion, place it on the scale. Okay. Well, is there any actual difference between these? Other than the ingredients. They're both weak potions of healing, so let's just grab one. She seemed happy. Okay. Uh... So the amount of gold you will receive from selling a potion is shown on the sell button. Click the sell button to sell the potion. Alright, so it's just 10 gold coins. I don't think I can haggle as of yet. I have to complete the tutorial first. Alright, so let's do that. Um, yes, I'll buy this potion, but I won't pay very much. You must not care very much for your, po for your husband. Okay, the customer needs this kind of potion. Offer the potion for sale by placing it on the scale. Okay. I was just walking down the street, minding my own business, when a flower pot fell out of nowhere and bonked me right on the head. Good thing I've always had a thick skull or I'd be out cold. But I've got a nice big bump on my head now. What can I rub on it to make it go away? Well, I only have the one right now, so let's, let's go with that, I suppose. Ooh, I can haggle. Okay. To make more money on a potion, you can try haggling. Successful haggling could significantly increase the price of a potion, but unsuccessful haggling could do the opposite. Make it drop. To start haggling, click haggle. Well, the option is there, so we can try? Try haggling for a better price. What did you have for breakfast or lunch today? A common topic to start a conversation. Okay. I guess, I, I don't know what I'm doing, but you know, food topic is very easy apparently, okay. Okay, sell the potion to the customer. All right, so apparently clicking on those little prompty thingies is like success or failure. All right, so now we'll go and sell it for 12. Cool, I made a $2 profit. Lack of suitable potions. You will often not have a ready-made potion for certain customers. That's okay. You can always go back to the laboratory and make the potion they need. There's no time limit, thank God. So you can focus on the recipe. The client will not leave. Oh, they're captive! Ha <laughs> ha! Okay. <clears throat> Enchanted garden. Go to the garden. Gather ingredients for the potion. It is located to the right of the laboratory. Hello! Mice have infested my hut, even though I have a cat. The cat just... <clears throat> Excuse me. The cat just lies on the cabinets and watches the mice do whatever they please. So, I need a vial of rat poison. It'll be easier to poison those rodents than wait for the stupid cat's help. To offer a potion, place it on the scale. Alright, uh... Go to the garden. Here's the garden. The Enchanted Garden is one of the alchemist's main sources for ingredients. Every day, new herbs and mushrooms will grow in the garden. Don't forget to pick them from time to time. Click on the ingredients to gather them. Collect one terraria and one firebell. Okay. Now, let's see. Terraria is one of the most famous alchemy ingredients. It's got its name for magical properties best revealed in earth element recipes. I was right. Firebell. Okay, slightly hot to the touch. And it appears that, yeah, that one goes to the west, whereas the uh, water went to the east. Okay. Making a, po making a poison, excuse me. Not potion, poison. The customer needs poison, which means you have to create a potion with the poison effect. You will have to look for the most for most of the effects on your own throughout the map, but uh, but you remember from your alchemy lessons that such a potion 
can be made from one Terraria and one Firebell. Gotcha. Try making a potion yourself. Don't forget to use all the alchemy equipment available. Don't be afraid of failure. I'm always afraid of failure. You can always try again by pressing the button below. Okay. Well, one Terraria and one Firebell. So let's give it a whirl. Smush, smush, smush. Okay. And plop you in. And then... Fire bell. Okay, I think we're good. Give it a little stirry stir. Professor Snape's class right now. Okay, and I think now we have to try heating it up. Poison! You unlocked a new effect. Finish making the potion. Okay. Uh, weak poison of po weak potion of poisoning. I could save the recipe, I guess. See why not? Finish potion. Return to the shop and sell the potion to the customer. You got it. Okay. Okay, we could try haggling. Also, I don't know what the significance of those stars is exactly, but we're learning, we're learning. Weapons, very easy. Some respect long swords, some love archery, and some even prefer daggers. Who doesn't like to discuss which weapon is better? Okay. Cool, we, we succeeded. All right, let's sell. Got some mun muns. All right, bedroom. Once the last customer leaves the shop, you can have a rest in your bedroom. It is located above the laboratory. Go to the bedroom and end the day. Ah, ending a day. To end to end the day, click on the bed and confirm you want to end the day. Well, I don't appear to have any other options, so yeah, let's. Are you sure you want to go to bed? Yes! So far, rather enjoying it. it. It's calm, it's subdued, it seems relatively straightforward. End of tutorial. Excellent! You have refreshed your alchemy knowledge and familiarized yourself with the alchemy equipment. In the attic next to the bed, you have a few ingredients and a ladle for water. This is your potion shop now, and you decide what to do next. Greet customers, chat, sell potions, haggle, and don't forget to gather ingredients from the enchanted garden and gradually explore the alchemy map. Good luck. All right, uh, let's see. Okay, can't do anything with the desk. All right, so we've got 10 terraria. Uh, nine water bloom, eight fire bells, and wind blooms. So you can use it like a hand fan. Okay, it's kind of hard to read some of the writing. Um, so that is for a north effect on the map. Okay. Well, let's go down to the shop, see who's here. Oh, wait, before we do that, let's gather ingredients. Ooh! Okay. Uh, so let's just gather everything that I see. Unfortunately... The 
uh, the cursor is sort of like, all right, it, it's like, it doesn't give you a lot of options as far as, it's just sort of like, you're going there, whether you like it or not. Um, I think that that's it in everything. Um, so I now also have Dryad Saddle. According to legend, the Dryads of the forest made these mushrooms as mounts. Okay, that can't be right. And we also have marsh rooms. Okay. A mushroom that usually grows on boggy ground it tastes like a dirty rag. Nice. Okay. Alright, so that is north. Wait, no, south, excuse me. This is south. South. Also south. Well, sort of southwest. Okay. And then water bloom. Yes, we've got east, west, and north. Okay, so we've got our directions going on here. And let's see who comes in. Good afternoon. Yesterday at a friend's party, I burned my tongue on some hot soup. Now I can't taste a thing, and I'm a brewer. I need to be able to check the quality of my product. My tongue is useless now. Do you have a healing tincture of some kind? Okay. Uh, let's go back to the shop. And... Nope. Let's see. Recipe book. Okay. Yeah, so this is our, our poison. And this is our healing potion. Okay. Convenient. Very, very convenient. Okay. There we go. Da 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 da! Alright, let's try haggling. Just a wee bit. Okay. Topic herbs. Very easy. There are so many different kinds of herbs. Healing, poisonous, magical, delicious, fragrant, prickly. You could talk about them for days. Cool. So far, so good with the haggling. Alright. And sell. Okay. I need a potion to poison rats and other little vermin. Okay, we can do that easy. Uh, do, do, do. Okay, and just quick brew you. There. And a wee bit of haggling. <laughs> Topic, alcohol. Very easy. Okay. Wine, beer, mead, and many other types of alcohol. A great talking point. What could go wrong? <laughs> it, when it comes to alcohol, anything can go wrong. Okay. So far, I'm doing pretty good at the haggling bit. Ah, an adventurer. I, are you the, the new alchemist? I'm the local herbalist. I gather plants and sell them. Want to see what I have for sale? I think I have something that might interest you. Oh, yeah, let, let's take a look-see. You know, if I can get stock to new ingredients, that might help me. Okay, uh, I can grow everything that you have, I think. If I am not mistaken. Now, what do I have the, the least of? It appears that I only have two mushrooms each, and he doesn't sell them anyway. Well, he or she, I can't quite tell. It doesn't matter anyway. Um, I'm not sure what would be construed as good or not, so I'm just gonna not do anything with that back. Um, 
Do you sell anything besides herbs? I only sell what I know about. Flowers, herbs, roots, and various berries and fruit. You can buy other things from other merchants. Oh, okay, cool. All right, uh, you know what? Uh, it's tempting to buy something because I might need them later, but I have an awful lot of things. No, I, you know what? I think I'm gonna pass. Thank you, though. My head really hurts, and it's keeping me awake. Do you have some kind of sleeping draft that can help me? Oh. Sleeping potion. I don't know about those. Okay. Well, then. Create a new potion. First, change the potion. Okay, um... Okay... I have no idea what we're doing here. Because I don't know what would create a, uh, a sleeping effect. Quite frankly. I don't know what to do now. Let's see. Earth types. I, I you know what? I would think that maybe we need to go north. Uh, only because we haven't gone north yet. So that that's kind of an offhand guess for me. Um, you know what? Let's try going north. We'll give it a whirl. to go to... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait, no, that that's where I first started, the, the, the potion bottle below me. Alright, um... Er, I don't know where to go. I could try heating it up now, but I don't know what good that would do. We could try going further north. Or we could try going east. Going south would be silly. You know what? Let's try going east. I guess. idea what it is that I'm doing. Let's try seeing what happens. Absolutely nothing! Okay, maybe I need to keep traveling. Well, 
that didn't get me anywhere. Reset potion. Yeah, that's fine. It's fine. Okay. Um. There's also some sort of like swirly vortexy thingy. Let's try maybe going like northwest maybe. Instead of southeast, maybe just east. I don't know. I'm winging it. At least I'm getting some XP. That's always nice. Okay, and let's try going east again. Explore the map, see what we can find out, if anything. Oh, oh, there's a potion. What, what, what do it do? What do? Okay, I think I need to heat it up now. Frost. Interesting, you unlocked a new effect. Okay. Weak Potion of Frost. Alright, well that doesn't quite help us, but yeah, we'll, we'll save the recipe for later, I guess. Okay. Uh, finish Potion. Okay. That's interesting, but that's not what we needed. Alright, let's try going north-north. Something tells me there's going to be a lot of trial and error in this game, but that is okay. And let's try heading north again, seeing what's up in that direction. Oh, it didn't combine the two. That's rubbish. Thought that it would. Okay, uh, let's do that again. You know what? Let's stir this first. Okay, smushy, smushy. Stir, stir, stir. Okay, I guess keep heading north for now. I don't know if those bones are a barrier or what, but let's just keep heading north. Okay, uh, that will get me in the right area, so let's do that. I'm using up a lot of these, and you know what, I can go back with the water, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, there we go. back with the water. Oh, come on. Because it was at a level two. Oh, 
Shots bot. Alright, let's try this again. If I can get a level 2, that would be really awesome. Okay, and then a little bit of water. Yes, here we go. Can I get a level three? No. All right. Let let's let's stop messing around with things. Swiftness. You unlocked a new effect. Potion of swiftness. Again, not quite what we need, but you know that could be helpful at some point. All right, so we'll save this one. And, whoa, whoa, okay. And finish. There we go. All right, so we have a, a potion of swiftness, a potion of frost. However, we still don't know about a sleeping potion. All right, let's try going just plain old south, shall we? sort of a roundabout way. We're straight through. Let's just go straight through. I've got more of these than I do of the Dryad Saddle anyway. So, yeah, let's just go straight through. And we will see what's what. Got some XP. More. More. And... Hmm. Okay, let's continue going south, I guess. That actually might be more advantageous, because it gets me through all three of those. So, actually, let's... Maybe do that? But I have more of these, so let's stick with this. There we go. Okay, stir, stir, stir. And... Instead of messing with it further, let's just leave it at the position that it's currently at. Please let this be sleeping. Strength. Where is sleeping? Alright, yes, let's save this one for future reference. And finish. Okay. Let's try West! Fire bells. On the one hand, it's kind of frustrating. On the other hand, it's still fun because it, it sort of reminds me of those um, uh, Doodle God evolution type games where you experiment uh, by putting two unrelated things together and creating a new thing. Okay, and I guess let's continue heading in the westerly direction. Uncover more of the map. Ooh, ooh, we got another outline. Okay, another west. Careful, 
careful. It's a one. It's a two! Alright, let's leave it. Bellow me this, bellow me that. Fire! You unlocked a new effect. Potion of fire. That's, again, interesting, but not what we need. Hmm. Okay. Sleep. Huh? Sleep. Well... Yeah, so that was swiftness, frost, health, poison, strength, and fire. I'm thinking that it would be related to health. So maybe it's past frost? Or maybe in sort of like the northeast, I'm kind of thinking. Also, is there anything in the garden at the moment? No. Okay. Yeah, we're not doing too hot, I'm afraid. But we're, we're trying. Alright, let's try one more potion. And then I'm gonna give up the ghost for today. Alright, uh, so... North... and east. Alright, let's do... North first, I think. Or should I do east first? That's north. That's east. Okay, so. Actually. Yeah, let's do a little bit of east first. leave off here and then go north from here. There is a method to my madness, trust me. Okay, and then north. Okay, plop you in. will get me into the rocks, so let's try east first. like when sailing the seas, if you will. Oh, okay. So it was, a, it was like about to pop or something, but it didn't. Ooh, ooh. All right, what would be the best to do? Uh, well, I could go a little bit east and then a little bit north, so let's just do the doing. Okay, and then north... That should do. Okay. And then... Add some water. No, going in the wrong direction. Two, give me two. It's not gonna give me two. Okay, well, let's just do it to it. 
you unlocked a new effect, Weak Potion of Mana, which mana is sort of like magic in its purest form. We still haven't found sleep! Ah! Alright, well, let's save the recipe, finish the potion. A little bit irksome. Uh... You know what, maybe he would take, like, a, a healing potion of sorts? Oh, I don't know. At any rate, listen, we will figure this out. <laughs> we will figure this out. Um, I don't know. Um, so far, I'm rather enjoying it. It's calm, it's subdued, it's interesting. I rather like it. Um, although, it would be nice if I could see what is going on with the map a little bit easier you know, right out of the gate, you know? Um, so, let's see, just... Yeah, I was just curious, could I, I was thinking, you know, could I read what is actually on the map? But, no, not offhand. At any rate, you know what, we will figure it out. As always, guys, want to thank you so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying it so far. I am. And uh, until then, you have a great day, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.